Welcome to another Down the Rabbit Hole video. Here we are at the Imperial base with Lord Vader and one of his stormtroopers. These are the large size figures though. You can see like these are the big guys from Kenner. These are the originals. And there's a few stories involved with these guys so I just thought I would talk about them. Uh, this is the last of the large size figures that I've got. I don't have R2, I don't have Leia. Maybe someday, but as as the years roll by, these things are worth more and more money. I think I I looked up how much is the stormtrooper worth these days, just loose and well over a hundred bucks. So like, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be uh, replenishing or finishing off the collection. I think this is the last of it. Thought I'd combine both these guys here at the Imperial base and then allow you to just enjoy a final story. Um, as is tradition. I can't really talk about any Kenner Star Wars toys without pouring myself a little of the old Stormtrooper whiskey, and it seems only apropos since we got a Stormtrooper in this shot. Why the Stormtrooper whiskey? Well, Kappa had done a rule about any uh, toy-related videos are for kids, so you have to mark your video as safe for kids, and that makes it impossible to get comments and stuff. So I'm just going to finish off. The last of the Stormtrooper whiskey here, if I have some whiskey, it means that this is not intended for kids. This is a kid-adjacent video, totally. Kids can enjoy it. But I'm just going to have myself a shot of the old Stormtrooper whiskey. Since it's now empty, it seems only apropos. Cheers to Vader and to the Stormtrooper. And once again, we would be honored if you would join us. All right. Good stuff. So we'll get to Lord Vader in a second. I'll show you the Stormtrooper now. These are actually my brothers and I didn't really think too greatly of the Stormtrooper itself. I know, can you see his head? It was actually the face and head that I used to have a problem with for the Stormtrooper. Uh, there's no articulation for the neck. You can't turn his head. You gotta kinda move him this way and stuff to be able to see. And that's fine, except for, um, it looks like it's a little bit big. Uh, I think they just decided, you know what, these guys mainly just stand on guard. Yes, he can pull out his gun, and yes, my brother still kept the gun all these years, that's good. But um, the, the, the fact that he won't turn his head and that it looks molded into the plastic, which it is, but it's also like way too large in my opinion. I just thought, no, that's a, bit, that's a bit dumb. Now, admittedly, when standing at a distance, I think he's fine. Now, he does he does strike the right kind of pose, the right kind of balance, but he's just, I don't know, he's just, didn't really do it for me. You know what, I'm just gonna turn down the brightness a hair because you're not able to see. There we go, he's a little overexposed there. Um, he is actually somewhat yellowed over the years, and that's apparently a known thing for the Kenner large size Stormtrooper. They did get a bit yellow over time. He's not bad though, he's just obviously been on the, uh, the sandy world of Tatooine for too long. We'll just we'll put that down as the explanation. Uh, the gun I thought was always strange because it's not the standard E-11 that all Stormtroopers carry. This is some other blaster rifle that was used, and I just thought, that's really strange that they would not give him his well-known gun. What is with that? But it's it's very impressive, it's very uh, imposing. Also, the strange thing is, he's got a little string on his belt for looping that onto. I can't even remember, does it go in here or something? Uh, you know what, I'm not going to mess with it, because I have found, I once tried to put the uh, leash of the Tauntaun back on, and it snapped. So I'm being very careful with these vintage toys these days. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna throw his uh, gun onto his belt. But it, it always was this little bit of string that was looped through. That's all that they used for the gun. Also, uh, I'm not sure what happened with this guy's hand. I don't know if you can make it out there, but there's a little bit of glue. I think my brother must have done a repair job. So the hand won't really move too much. But they were articulated. You could actually, I'm not going to mess it with it, but you could give them a little bit of rotation so that they had some expressive capability with with the hands. It's not just some grunt who stands in the background. Unfortunately, nowadays, that's all this guy's going to do. He's going to just stand in the background. 
So that's a stormtrooper. Have another. And let's get on to Lord Vader himself now. Anybody who knows these Kenner large size figures knows he's really good. The face sculpt is quite nice. The chest is really good. But everybody who knows a lot about these figures can tell. Yes, his arms are barely holding on. I think this is my brother's repair job here. So he's got he's got the little loops in there and just a bit of string tied across to keep his arms from not being completely gone. Gives this guy a very mutated look. I mean, this is... What are you going to do? You know, the, the, the original elastic-y type connector that kept the arms on the large size, large size figure, it was notorious for breaking, and that is what has happened here. So my brother's done a little bit of a repair job there. Um, shout out to a YouTube channel Uncle Bob's Vintage Toys, he's actually got a fix if you've got the loops. And he even knows where you can get these little plastic loops. No! Well, there we go. Uh, I guess I'm going to have to research Uncle Bob's video because I've just had them fall off. Wow. You see, you got to be super careful with this stuff. I might be able to repair that. We'll, we'll see. If not, I might be doing a little repair job from Uncle Bob myself. The good news is we've got these loops in here, and those are the... The main thing, then you just get a bit of this shock cord, I think he described, and you can bung that back on. So, future video, I will be repairing Lord Vader. But uh, you see him now in kind of the state that most people are aware of the large size figure being, and that is Armless. A uh, channel that I watch quite a lot, uh, Retro Blasting, he's actually got a whole bit where his Armless Darth Vader is wandering around and uh, is a, a well-known character in his videos. So. Uh, Michael does a really fun bit with an armless Darth Vader, and this is how most people's are known. So, but I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can give that a repair job in a future video. For now, I'll just leave him there. Uh, good news is we also have Vader's lightsaber. It's a little bit bent, but I think that's sort of normal over the years, and it would just slide into the hand like that. And then he would have, before he fell apart, been able to uh, cut and slice and do all of his lightsaber goodness. So there we go. So I'll just set that down. So Vader's arm will be restored. And I think I'm going to leave it there. Um, that is the large size Darth Vader, large size Stormtrooper from Kenner, the original ones from way back in the day. The last of my large size figures. I didn't even intend on getting any of those. Somehow I think I got a Luke for, for my Christmas birthday present, whatever, and that sort of started me down the journey, and then Chewbacca and all the rest of them fell into my lap. So these are the last of them, the baddies, if you will, and uh, it's unfortunate to have brought this story to an end, especially since I've gone and kind of had this guy fall apart. But you know what? It's just this string. In fact, it's just this knot. It's just come loose. You know what? I'm going to try and retie that later today, and then it'll be back to at least the status it was at before. However, as I say, uh, Uncle Bob's Vintage Toys has a fix, and I will give that a shot at some point. But for now, I'm going to toast Lord Vader, the Stormtrooper, and the Stormtrooper whiskey with the last shot here. So, cheers, and until next time, we'll see you down the rabbit hole. And just a quick insert here, good to know. I actually gave him a, a little retie job there. So uh, I've got actually Vader's arms back on with the hack job, uh, rotten piece of string job that was done there before. And at least that'll keep him functional until such time as uh, I can do that proper repair from Uncle Bob's Vintage Toys. In fact, if you ask me, I think it looks actually better now that it doesn't have all that string sticking out of his arm.